Hello, my fellow investors, and welcome back to another video. If you guys already saw my previous video from this morning or from a few hours ago, y'all know that Donald Trump won the presidency. And by the looks of it, the Republicans are seeming to have a clean sweep across the Senate and even the House. And Donald Trump did win the popular vote as well. So the mandate is very, very clear. However, now we're going to take a look at a few more things when it comes to markets because markets and economy because uh things are completely going crazy right now dow up three percent as risk assets rally after republicans take white house senate and in election and also the house most likely so markets right now are rallying the dow is up 3.3 percent the nasdaq is up 2.7 percent and the s&p is up 2.3 percent so yeah this is uh really good to see right this is really good to see kind of what we were expecting after a trump victory however we still have a few more things to worry about and that would be mainly tomorrow because tomorrow it is the fomc and well um it is almost guaranteed that we're going to get a 25 basis point rate cut once again which I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen now. I just I just don't know what's going to happen. Jerome Powell constantly says, no, we're not partisan. We're not this. We're not that. And I call major BS on that. I really, really do. So you guys can see the CME tool is basically calling for a 99.2% chance that the or the that we are going to get an interest rate cut tomorrow. However, let's take a look as to why this doesn't make any sense. Now, if we look back at um, last week. October 29th, we got jolts numbers, which came in a lot lower than expected and got revised down from 8 million. Yeah, 8.04 million down to 7.86 million. And again, the actual numbers came in much lower. Then on the following day, we got GDP quarter over quarter down to 2.8. They were expecting three, which previous time it came in as three as well. And the big one, the big one would be the CPE on thursday of last week cpe guys first of all got revised up um the core not not the core pc but normal pc year over year got revised from 2.2 up to 2.3 and it came in at 2.1 with expectation however when it came to the core pce year over year you guys can see that it was in line with that of the previous month going up by 0.1 from expectation and then on top of that you also have initial jobless claims yes falling uh, more than they were expecting, as you guys can see, expecting 229 going down to 216. However, previous month got revised up from 227,000 to now 228,000. And last week, the main thing that occurred that really riled up people were the non farm payrolls because. Uh, yeah, not only did it get revised down from 254 to 223, they were expecting 106,000. Guys, this thing came in at um, 12,000. So, I don't know what's going to happen with this. Uh, I just really don't. Also, private non-farm payrolls, negative 28,000. So, yeah. I don't know what's going to happen with that. But coming tomorrow, obviously, we do have the FOMC. It's going to be really interesting to see what Powell says. However, on Wednesday, November 13th, we do have CPI numbers. And, um, well, they haven't put any expectation. They haven't put anything, honestly. The only thing we have got here is just the previous. We can see that previous was 2.4 on normal CPI year over year. And, um, wow, okay. And the core CPI is 3.3. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see if these numbers get revised upwards. But this will show, with Trump now in there, Jerome Powell is going to have to do a lot of heavy lifting to keep his job. I know that most likely he will stay in there. But now we have a lot of uncertainties when it comes to Trump and Jerome Powell. Trump says he would let Fed Chair Powell finish his term if he wins in November. That's very vague. Does that mean that we're going to get a new Fed Chair? That would be crazy. In fact, there is one person I really would like if Trump were to appoint and the Republicans actually affirm it. And it would actually be this lady right here. Her name is Judy Shelton and... She's a very controversial, quote unquote, according to CNN, controversial economist who has been floated as a potential pick for former President Trump to lead the Federal Reserve if he wins in November presidential election, which we know he did, uh, has proposed a radical solution. The Fed should aim for no inflation at all. Boom. That's what you call price stability right there, right? That's the two mandates that the Fed has full job employment and job and price stability, which 2% inflation is not 
price stability at all. We're getting a 2% increase every single year. 0% inflation would be price stability. She says stable inflation is oxymoron, <laughs> correct, because it means it's not stable. Exactly. So if this lady right here gets in, if Trump actually, if Trump lets Jerome Powell finish, great. He puts her in as the Fed chair. Oh man, things are going to go. Oh boy, things are going to go haywire. Because in order to actually get these inflation numbers down to zero, not two, but 0% CPI, core CPI, PCE, core PCE, it would mean interest rates have to go up. It would mean the balance sheet will basically get nuked out of existence. It's going to cause a lot of chaos for markets in the short term, which would actually lead as a great buying opportunity for all investors out there. So I'm really looking forward to this. Tomorrow's going to be crazy. You know the questions are going to be, hey, what are you going to do now that Trump has won? What are you going to do now that Trump has won to Jerome Powell during the FOMC? He may not even take questions for all we know. It's going to be amazing. And by the way, we are going to be live streaming tomorrow, covering or at least post the, the election or post the FOMC. So it's going to be fun. It's be me and Mike. Oh, man, dude. This day, this week, this year, for me personally, has been perfect and all i gotta do is say thank you to the lord jesus christ for that guys thank you so much for watching make sure to like subscribe comment really does help with the algorithm on youtube as well as well make sure to follow us on xfl investing if you like join us on the discord which is the best way to get these videos live streams and shorts as they come out the link is in the description below for that one follow us on x make sure to repost make sure to follow on x as well guys it's going to be an insane and amazing four years. The only people that are going to lose out are those who are not willing to become financially literate. So hopefully everybody continues watching because if we get a downturn, it's going to be great. Peace out.